Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep contemplative questions and provide far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is live sound engineer, David Morgan. David, how you doing? Very well, thank you, sir. Glad to hear it. Okay, you know the drill, 30 seconds on the clock and then on to the next question. Are you ready? Absolutely. Okay, question number one. Describe your job to a five-year-old. I work behind a big piece of lit, well-lighted gear that makes noise. And I get to make noise for a whole bunch of people who come to see a show. And then we do it, and then we put it away, and we go to the next town, and we do it again. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty good. And you got in under the wire. I'm impressed. Well, I, you know, <laughs> not everyone can do that. Okay, next question. The David Morgan action figure is coming out for Christmas. What two accessories was, must, are must-haves that it comes with? Uh, it, an unsharpened pencil <laughs> that I can use the eraser to, to on the touch screens on my, my, my SD5 console. So that's got to be in one hand. And then my reading glasses have to be in another. And those are the two essential tools for me mixing a show. <laughs> oh, God, that's, that's rather interesting. Okay, so I don't care much about hearing, but I have to be able to see. Oh, absolutely. I have to be able, I have to be, <laughs> have you seen how small the print is on, 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 on the, Menu boxes on the dig on a SD5 console. Good point. Oh, I have point. I have to have I have to have the glasses on. Uh, okay, next question. What's the most creative backhanded compliment you've ever received? Oh my God, that's a hard one. Uh, backhanded compliment. Well, the, the the worst thing is having somebody say, "Oh yeah, it didn't sound too bad." That's the worst thing somebody can say. I know. And then, 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 then I start panicking. You know, <laughs> they didn't like it. You know, what didn't they like? What, what did I do wrong? You know, am I? How long have I been doing this wrong? And you know, it, it creates a whole a whole cycle of panic when so, when somebody's less than enthusiastic in describing you know the sound of the show that night. Okay. Next question. In the biopic of your life. Who would play you and who would play your arch nemesis? I want Bruce Jackson to play me because he was one of my favorite, fa favorite characters in the business. And he was smarter than way smarter than I was. And uh, what was the second part? Who would play your arch nemesis? Who would play my arch nemesis? Well, come on, it's a well, biopic, you know. Uh, hopefully I don't have any, but uh, uh, gosh, I, I, the, the best casting I could do would, would be Reggie Hamilton, the bass player from Bette Midler's band. Not, not because we didn't get along, but because he has the, one of the greatest menacing stares I've ever seen. And <clears throat> wonderful player, great man, but just his facial expressions were so deep and he would make a great superhero. Next question. Tell me something about yourself that sounds ridiculous, but is actually true. Uh, I still play hockey at 71 years old. Really? Yeah. I, I've been, I've been kind of sign lied by the, uh, by, by COVID-19, but as soon as I can go back to the rink, I'm going back to the rink. I, 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 I live for, 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 a, a, you know, hitting a hard slap shot. There's a get off my lawn joke in there somewhere. I had just haven't come up with it yet, you know? <laughs> But that's that you know my 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 secret well not so secret among people who know me I I, I would have rather been a, a a high scoring right wing than anything else in the world. Interesting. Okay, next question. If you could have one pointless or semi useless superpower, what would it be? The power to forget mistakes because we all make mistakes during shows and mistakes bother me no end. I, I, I will, I, I, I'll, I'll sit and relive a, a, a show on the bus for like two hours before I can get to sleep. You know, if, if, if I think I screwed something up, I'm, I'm really, really hard on myself. So, so basically I didn't really fuck up, man. Yeah, I want, I want, I want an am, am, amnesia button. Yeah. <laughs> 
Exactly. Okay. I, you know, I'm I'm not looking for a, a way a, a way to, to to shift the blame. I'm looking for a way to stop to, you know to stop the behavior that caused me to get so pissed at myself. You know, how could how could you do that? Next you know? question: What's the worst mistake you've ever made in a professional setting? Turning the PA off during a song. You did? Sure. Everybody's done that. Uh, on a gamble console, on an old Gamble ES56, the solo button and the mute button were so close together, right? That one time I went, uh, you know, because I, I tried to turn the, the uh, I, I would tend to turn the solo bus off if I had the headphones around my neck, you know? Uh, and but not use the volume control, I'd just use the on off button, right? And it was within a quarter of an inch of the, of, of, of the master mute button, right? So I hit both buttons one night and turned off a Paul Simon show, you know, a half a second, it goes right back on, but you know, that's that's oh. the worst possibly thing you can do. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question What's the one thing you wish people had told you before you started your career? Well, Two things, uh, don't ever smoke cigarettes and uh, stay away from any drugs harder than marijuana. And that's, uh, I've seen so many careers die due to drugs and uh, it's, it's, it's a shame. I've lost a lot of friends along the way, especially to heroin and uh, Smoking cigarettes was probably the stupidest thing I ever did in my life. Okay, next question. What's the worst thing you've ever said to a boss or client without thinking? Oh, yeah, that was the day I walked out of the studio. It, uh, I, it, was, it was a very well-known producer. We were trying to record this guitar solo that the guitar player couldn't play, and I knew I could play it better than he could because I, 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 I would stay after sessions and I would learn the part, and I was going to volunteer to play it. Uh, so on the day I snapped, I, 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 after two weeks straight, eight hours a day on this guitar solo that wasn't getting any better, uh, I snapped and told the producer, you know, there I read, you know, I could, I could do this, and then, and then I walked out the front door. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, that concludes our questions. Uh, I'm going to put 30 seconds more on the clock and allow you to either answer a question for me you wish I had asked you or uh, just pontificate on something in general or ask me a question, anything you want to do, it's 30 seconds. It's all yours. Go. <clears throat> well, I can't, I can't think, think of a, a question that, that we really haven't covered. Uh, the one thing that, that, that I try to give as advice to people is know who you are and what you're capable of doing. And it's not enough to, to, to j just say yes. Uh, you have to express the confidence in saying yes in taking on different tasks within the entertainment business for those around you to feel as comfortable as you are with the, uh, with, with, with the decision to, to take part in a certain endeavor. And the, the big thing about our business is it's a team business. And... Uh, you know, it's not sound guys versus the lighting guys. It's sound guys and the lighting guys. It's sound guys and the video guys. Would have fooled me. <laughs> uh, it, it, but it's it's uh, it's it's a team effort. I I really never tried to take individual credit for what I know is a team effort. I I wouldn't be where I am today unless I had the greatest crews from all the sound companies that I've worked with in the past. I've been so blessed by having incredible systems guys who in many cases know a whole lot more than I do. And uh, I've managed to, to be a, to uh, see myself as part of a team rather than as an individual uh, making a statement. And it's uh, a whole lot more gratifying when the team wins the game, you know, and uh, it's uh, you want the front lounge of the bus to be a happy place every night, you know. Indeed. That's that that's that that's really my uh, 
you, you know, you don't, you don't want anybody there, they're, they're, uh, holding a grudge or, or, uh, making waves. You, you want, you know, equanimity is, 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 is very important. Uh, and cooperation is very important. And, uh, seeing yourself as part of a, a much greater whole. And it took me like any other youth, it took me years to, 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 to understand that and to incorporate it into my daily life. But and now at, at my age, a vast majority of my life has been lived that way. And uh, it's worked and it, it, it works for, uh, for everyone who's been on the road for more than a couple of tours. Uh, everyone understands that once again, like the reggae band, it's a machine, right? That's true. I'm playing my part. I just want to play my part as best I can. I'm not interested in trying to play anybody else's part. And uh, no, I, I've not tried to take on uh, more than I'm capable of delivering. And uh, I will always push myself to deliver more, but I will never try to take on more than I'm actually capable of delivering. And uh, in that way, uh, if I exceed people's expectations, uh, then it's because the team is great. It's not, it's not because I'm great by myself, you know? Isn't that what they say? The best, the best leaders thank their teams and, and take responsibility when something goes wrong. Sure. I've, I've had to fall on my sword on many occasions in, in, dur during my career. And because I'm the guy at the top of the food chain on the audio side, that's my job. Right. Yep. I, I'm not there to throw anybody under the bus. I'm there to fall on my sword. You know, if the audio department fails, it starts with me. You know, so yep. I've, I've always been willing to take responsibility. I'll, I'll, I'll accept the criticism as, as with the, the same amount of uh, uh, introspection that I would accept the, 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 the applause. You know, uh, it's, uh, it's a, it's difficult to, Keep yourself in a place where you don't get uh, fall off the edge on either side, you know. <laughs> and yep. uh, you know there are times during a work day where you know it, it all you know it's it seems like everybody's working against each other. Uh, and uh, but it's you know it's worth getting through those little ripples during the day and, and just dealing with them as they happen and, 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 and getting them over with. And, uh, you know, it, it's inevitable that if you're in a confined space with a tremendous amount of equipment, that people are going to start running into each other and butting heads. It's what happens after you run into each other and butt heads, you know, basically, you know, if I yell at somebody or something, or somebody yells at me, then 30 seconds later, we're hugging and saying, Hey, it's, it's all good. Don't worry about it, brother. You better be because you got another few months with them on the road. Exactly, exactly. Yep. Which is which is one of the one most wonderful parts about the uh, the little bubble that we travel in is that it's it's self sustaining in so many ways. Oh, absolutely. And so I, I I can't I can't think of a more happy go lucky existence than than the one that was 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 granted to me. Uh, I I I I work for all my favorite artists except for George Harrison, you know? Uh, th that's the only guy who's left on my to-do list was George Harrison. And uh, that, I, yeah. Other than that, I, I've had as, as blessed a life, as a professional life as, a, as I could possibly, have, oh, I couldn't have imagined it when I started it out, you know? Uh, when I was working out at the Palomino, I, I never thought I'd be th 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 this guy who's sitting here talking to you now. Yeah, and uh, it it was it's only been with the uh, the help of a vast number of other people on the audio side along the way that's gotten to me where where, where I am today. So what I'm a long strange trip it's been, huh? Yeah, but I'm sure immensely grateful for all the help I've gotten to get here. That's for sure. No kidding, David Morgan. Thank you for being my guest. All right, Daniel. Good to talk to you. Are you going to ask about the hair? I I don't think so.